Guess who's back? Back again. Emily's back. <laughs> Tell a friend. That's another part of the song that I know. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me Emily and I am back again with another haul. I am going to apologize right now because all of my videos have just been hauls lately and I don't know why. I mean, I've literally done nothing but work and go to Disney World. So I guess that's why I've just been super busy with life and it's been fun. And so I went to Disney World. I actually went to Disney World twice. So this is going to be a haul with two trips in one video, but the first trip that I went to was not that long so I didn't get as much stuff. So there this is gonna be a monster haul like this is gonna be a humongous i have so much stuff why did i buy all of this stuff haul so seriously get cozy get some hot chocolate get some cookies get some popcorn i don't know get something and just get cozy like i'm gonna try as hard as i can to make this as short as it can be but i bought so much stuff and i am so excited about all this stuff like this is stuff that my sister she's done doing the college program right now she bought stuff for me like since she went down in august and this is stuff that's been sitting there waiting for me to come and bring home and now it's in my possession and i am a very happy person right now and i need to stop making hand gestures because this is getting annoying anyways we're gonna get started with the video and like I said it's gonna be a long one I'm not even gonna apologize for it I bought a ton of stuff so basically my trips were let me clarify this first okay my first trip was in November I went on Black Friday I flew down on Black Friday I went to Hollywood Studios I went to Very Mary I went to all the parks and then I flew back home that Monday I was delayed like five hours because of snow in Chicago, which was fantastic. But that was literally like a weekend trip. It was super fast. I had no room in my luggage to buy a lot of stuff either. This past trip that I went on, we came back home yesterday. So my parents and I drove down to Florida on the 28th of December we arrived and then we drove back home and arrived yesterday which was the 5th of January so we were there for New Year's we were there like right after Christmas we were there during the best time of the year which is the crazy busy season of Disney and it was awful but we had fun you know if you go to the park so much the crowds don't bother you because you know what to do and you know what the crowds will go on and what they won't go on so a lot of the trip included Carousel Progress, Country Bears, stuff that not a lot of people usually go on. So that was fun, but we did drive. So that meant I got to buy anything I wanted and I didn't have to worry about space. So when I say I buy a lot of stuff from Disney, I buy a lot of stuff from Disney. Like this is all just filled to the brim with Disney merch. And I'm gonna show it all. And this is also in high, no ways of bragging. This is just me showing stuff because my hauls tend to get a lot of views. So I'm here just showing you like, hey, this is stuff that I bought in case you're interested. You don't have to watch, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, we're just gonna get started with this haul. I first need to organize everything. I don't know how I'm gonna organize it, but we're just gonna pray for me, please. So basically how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna show the first couple things that I got on the trip that I went on during Thanksgiving weekend. So that stuff wasn't a lot. So I'm just gonna show you that really quick. So from Cast Connections, my sister, since I'm no longer a cast member, you can watch the whole video about that. Um, since I'm no longer a cast member, my sister went into Mickey's Treasures for me and found me some treasures and so this was something I don't know why I didn't buy these when we went for Halloween but I just didn't buy a pair for myself and they are the slinky dog headbands and I love these so much I think they're so cute I think it's a great little merchandise thing that Disney made because slinky is adorable I'm just gonna wear them for now I don't know what was wrong with them why they were at the Mickey's treasures part of cast connections but I just love Slinky Dog and I love Slinky Dog Dash and so I had to get them because I love Slinky Dog and I also needed like a nice pair of something that because these aren't really ears so I needed a nice head piece to wear to Hollywood Studios so I thought this would be perfect for that and he's a little Slinky Dog and that's that. Slinky Dog was the only thing I got from the Mickey's Treasures part everything else was from the normal cast connections part of it so I got this Haunted Mansion little cup thing it's I use it for jewelry right now and so it was $4.99 on sale and I just put like some of my Alex and Ani bracelets in it and just some rings I usually put stuff in here that's stuff that I wear like every day so rings and stuff that I usually wear every day will go in here so I just boom just grab it and that's exactly what I do <laughs> just go boom and and yeah, it has like all the little bats on it and my room, I'm going to say it for like the 50th time, but in case this is your first time watching my videos, my room is Haunted Mansion themed. My future kitchen when I move out of my place and get my own apartment will be kitchen themed, will be kitchen themed, will be kitchen themed. My kitchen will be kitchen themed. My kitchen will be figment themed. Well, like 
generic Epcot, but with a focus of figment and you will see a lot of figment merchandise that is kitchen merchandise. So that is why I get a lot of stuff. And so this is for my room and I just use this for jewelry because that's the purpose of it. Um, also from Cast Connections, I did get this for a dollar. It's a Groot cup and his little hands move. And I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I I don't know. I love Groot and I love Rocket and um, Guardians are my favorite Marvel characters. And so I had to get Groot and he was only a buck. I'm probably not going to use this at all, but he was a dollar. So I needed it. And he's adorable. He's a little tree and we love him. We stan. Okay. Um, so that's all from Cast Connections, really. I didn't get too much, like I said. So this part's like the disappointing part of the video. And I did film a video before showing you all this stuff, but I was sick and I looked disgusting in it. So this is like the remake. This is me looking, not like a potato, but like a french fry. So, you know, anyways. So for pins from this trip, I only got a couple of pins. They're all Christmas themed pins. And so like I said, I did go to Very Merry, so I got the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party pin. You can't really see it because of the sun. I love lighting. But there's that. You can, it's Mickey and Minnie in there in front of the castle and it's pretty. Um, and then I also got, I'm going to put them in here. Boom. And then I also got from Hollywood Studios, I bought these pins. It has nothing to do with Hollywood Studios. I just had to say that. I don't know why. Um, I got this little Porg pin and he's covered in Christmas lights and he's really cute. Then I also got this cute little stitch one of him with a present and his little ranger ears. He just looks so cute I had to get it. And I also got this Dumbo one and he has a little feather and he's dressed like a little elf and he's a little kitty patootie. And so I got those from the World of Disney, the newly imagined World of Disney. I got this little wallet thing and it says a ghost will follow you home and it has the hitchhiking ghosts on it. There they are. And I had to get that and that goes with my uh, Haunted Mansion purse that I bought on my previous, previous, previous trip. <laughs> the one that we went to for Halloween. This one was something that I had to get it, obviously. And this was something that like Disney merchandise team, A plus on that. Ooh, it has like a loose thread in it. But is this wallet actually stretching or is it your imagination? Hmm? Oh, hang on. I messed it up. Gosh darn it, Emily. Okay. Is this wallet actually stretching or is it your imagination? So yeah, it's a wallet and it's like more like a pouch. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but obviously I needed it. And so we got that and it has all the stretching portraits on it and it's fantastic. We're gonna do a little ear rotation here. And so the Slinky Dog Ears I got. This one, I'm a huge, like I love tacky Disney stuff. Like that's just who I am. I love tacky Disney things. This one screamed taxi, taxi, taxi. This one screamed tacky Disney stuff. And so I had to get this for the Very Merry Party and I wore this during the Very Merry Party. It is this little light up hat. You can't even tell it's lighting up. Well, you can there, but it's this hat. It says light up the holidays and it has this like ornaments on it. It's like little antlers. It had this Haunted Mansion ornament, so I needed it. And so I wore this to Very Merry. This is literally like the outfit I wore for Very Merry was <laughs> this shirt and these hats, ears. I don't know. This one kept falling, so I had to keep pushing it up. But yep, this is what I wore. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it now because it's so huge and it's not Christmas anymore. But we'll find a place for it. Since we did go to Very Merry, I actually remembered this time to get the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card. And I got the Tiki Bird one. And I was very happy because I love the Tiki Room. You'll see I love the Tiki Room. And so I got the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom Very Merry card for this year. And I love it. But then this one was something we're not going to make this a tradition. But I did get something that I was not expecting to get. Well, I mean, it was something I wanted to get, but I was not expecting to get it. And it's the doggy dooney and I needed it in my life. I was not planning on getting it. The only reason why I got it was because it had great placement on it. Like this one had the best placement on it out of all the ones there and it was super cheap anyways. So I got this one because it had zero right on the front. I wanted Stitch on the front because I had a guinea pig named Stitch when I was little and I don't know why I felt like I needed Stitch on there for him. A Dodger from Oliver and Company and I love Oliver and Company. That's like one of the most underrated Disney soundtracks of all time of all time and then we also have the um his name is todd right 
Todd, right? His name is Todd, right? From Fox and the Hound. Todd, he looked like my old dog, Miles. He passed away like last year, so he looked like our little beagle, Miles. So I had to get him. And then we have Dante on it, you know, and then we have all these guys on the inside. And then on the back, I really liked it because Pluto was right on the back there. We have some of the Dalmatians on it. And so I had to get this one and it's like the perfect, like it's a good concert size bag. It's a good like city day bag. It's a good size. It can't fit too much in it, but it can fit just enough for you to like run out really fast. And so I had to get it. So that's everything I got for my Thanksgiving trip. It, like I said, was not a lot of stuff, but now is all the fun stuff. This is literally a monster. This is where the monster starts to form because this is everything that I got from Disney World this past trip in December and January. This whole trip lasted a year, basically. So how I've organized this is we have clothes and then we have stuff that my sister bought for me or stuff that I made my sister buy for me and I paid her back right away. Then we also have stuff that I myself bought down there when I was down there. And then we have stuff from Cast Connections. That's how I've just organized everything. It's the easiest. And then pins, pins, of course, any pins. We'll go with clothing first. So we're gonna get some clothes. But before I do that, this is something that I bought, well, my sister bought for me when I was down there. And they are the bubblegum wall ears because I just needed a set of ears because I feel like I look weird without them. So. We're gonna wear these for the rest of the video. Just ignore it, I have hair all over my face. But yeah, so we're gonna get started with the clothing that I got from this trip and I am very excited to show you everything that I got. Okay, so I did get a magic band on this trip. I have a magic band that I always use, which is my Figment one. It's the limited edition one with Figment and Mickey Mouse on it. But I did get another Figment magic band when I was down there and this was literally the last thing I bought my very, very last day. I'm showing this completely out of order. This is the very last thing I bought and it is this Figment magic band and it's light purple and it has Figment and I I didn't notice this but it has the names of all of the like little parking areas at Epcot on it so it has dream create imagine all those and he's just adorable it is a limited release one and it was the most expensive magic band like there's like the normal magic band you can get for like $15 and then there's the a magic bands and there's the B magic bands this was a B magic band because it's limited edition and I don't know if this one does something cool when you go into the park I kind of hope it does but I have low expectations because Disney does not care about figment, <laughs> so that's just the tea. And yeah, so we have little figment. I'm excited to use him because I didn't get the chance to, but he's linked to my account, so we're good to go whenever I go next. So there's that. This is something that my sister got for me and she found it at Cast Connections at Mickey's Treasures. And I almost bought this when we went for Halloween. But I'm like, I know I'm going to wait for when the holiday discount starts for cast members. And I know I'm going to get it then. Because then it won't be as expensive. So luckily I did wait. Because not only did she use the holiday discount. But she also got it at Cast Connections. So it was like 10 times cheaper. And it is this Haunted Mansion sweater. And it has Hattie on it. And I'm very, very excited. It is a zip up one. So it zips up. The, and it has the Haunted Mansion on the front and it zips up and it has all the characters on the back and it's super soft, super cozy. Um, we don't know why it was at Cast Connections. There's nothing wrong with it. So it had the tag on it and everything. I don't know, but look at them all. I'm very excited about this one. This is also another shirt my sister got for me. It says Mickey Mouse, Turkey Legs, Monorails, Churros, and Space Mountain. And this is a really cozy shirt. It's so comfy. I did not know this shirt was this comfy. Has all of my favorite things on it. Um, I love everything on this shirt, especially Mickey Mouse, because he's the boss. She also got me this shirt I actually really, really like. She also got me this Three Caballeros shirt. And I love the Three Caballeros. Like, they're one of those, like, tacky Disney things that I love. Um, I'm still on that duck kick. Remember in March when I filmed my haul, I was like, I'm on a duck kick. That's still going on right now. I just love all the Disney ducks. And so we got the Three Caballeros. I love their attraction at Epcot, the Three Caballeros Grand Fiesta Tour. Also would not be mad if they made it Coco, though. Just saying. Also, we have more shirts. <laughs> we have this shirt, which I adore as well, because it's my second favorite show. Well, it's my first favorite show. It's tied with Festival of the Lion King. I can't pick a favorite, but Fantasmic. We have Mickey Mouse on it, and he's fighting Maleficent. And Dragon Maleficent is one of my favorite villains because I'm a nerd. And it's super cute, and I love it. And I'm very excited to wear this. Like, I need to, I need to like wear all these shirts down there. That's what I'm most excited for. <laughs> I didn't wear any of them when I was down there because I had my outfits already picked. But now that I have these, I'm excited to wear these. Um, 
And then the last shirt that she got me was one that I am also very, very excited about. This one I'm probably the most excited about because it has one of my favorite little Disney treasures on it. And it's Orange Bird. And it says greetings from Florida and it has orange print on it. It's a cute little tank top. It's a perfect like summer shirt and it goes really well with these ears actually. But it has orange bird on it and I love orange birds so much and I am excited to wear this and it's adorable and we love orange bird here. Um, the last thing that my sister got for me was another thing that she found at Mickey's Treasures. I did wear it my last day in the parks at Magic Kingdom. I had a whole outfit with this. We had a very, very, very legit purple wall photo shoot with this outfit so I have it's a skirt and it is the Haunted Mansion skirt and it has pockets in it which is the most important thing but besides that um it has all the Haunted Mansions I noticed this too when I was wearing it because I was just looking at it it has all the Haunted Mansions from each like Disney park so we have like the Disneyland one the Disney World one right there and then we also have Phantom Manor on it from Paris which is really cool. Also, where is he? Hattie's on this one too. The hitchhiking ghosts are down there. Where's Hattie? Where is he? There he is. You can kind of see him. And it's super comfy. Um, I was a little bit nervous because it's a size smaller than what I would normally get, but it actually fit me very, very well. So I'm very excited about that. And I, I love it so much. I got lots of compliments in it. I had a whole Haunted Mansion outfit and we went to Magic Kingdom. And this is definitely something that's going to come back on my next trip because I, I love it. It's super cozy too. And it has pockets. It has pockets. You can't like, it has pockets. I just put my phone in my pocket when we went on a ride. It was fantastic. I literally got a phone call in the middle of this video because my sister's at Character Warehouse and she just got me a pair of holiday ears. So that's going to be added to the next haul. But I did get a spirit jersey and it was this Tiki Room spirit jersey and it says Walt Disney World on the back. I was planning on getting the Haunted Mansion one but they sold out all over the whole entire Walt Disney World. So as soon as that comes back my sister's going to snatch it for me because your girl needs the Haunted Mansion spirit jersey. But I was planning on getting this one anyways either way like I was going to get both. So we got this Tiki Room one. I love it so much. I ugh, I wore it New Year's Eve and it's so cute. It has all the birds on it. But then I was like, you know what? That's not enough because these were right by where the spirit jersey was. I needed these to go with it because we have to complete the look, don't I? I wore these to Magic Kingdom with my Haunted Mansion skirt because I had to pay a little homage to the Tiki Room while I was wearing all my Haunted Mansion stuff. It is the Tiki Bird earrings. And they're very, very lightweight. They, like, you can't even feel them on my face. And so they're super lightweight. They are so cute. And I feel like these are just earrings you can wear whenever, too. You can't tell that they're Disney Tiki Room earrings. They're just, like, little parrot ones. And I love them. And I'm just so basic that I got matching earrings to match with my spirit jersey. Because that's just how I roll. <laughs> and I'm a massive nerd. But yeah, we did get the spirit jersey and the matching earrings. And so that's going to be all for clothing. As I'm pretty sure that is all for clothing. And then we're going to show some of the stuff that I got. We'll do cast connections first. We'll show the stuff my sister got in a little bit. Because that's the really exciting stuff. Cast connections is like meh. So from cast connections, I got some little treasures. I'll show some of the pins and stuff that I got first. So I got this Expedition Everest pin, has the Yeti on it, and it was $3.99, and it just has Expedition Everest on it. I don't know. I have nothing Everest, so I just, and I like the ride, so I'm just like, we'll just get that. And then I also got this Jack Skellington pin, and it was $3.99 as well, and I got that one because I collect Nightmare Before Christmas pins. I collect basically every type of pin, so I shouldn't be specific to Nightmare Before Christmas. This isn't a pin, but it is a Epcot magnet for the 25th anniversary, and I had to get that because I'm Epcot trash. And I think this was $3.99 as well. It'll go great with my Epcot kitchen. And then also going with my Epcot kitchen, I also got this Epcot mug, and me being a nerd, got this one because it has all the symbols of all the future old pavilions at Epcot. And I'm also collecting the pins. I just got a message. Hang on, phone. It was $5.99, and... Vintage Epcot. It goes well. Where's the... There's the Journey to Your Imagination one. All the other ones? I don't know. Well, that's obviously the Living Seas and Body Wars or like Wonders of Light has to be that one. But all the other ones I'm not 100% sure about. But the Journey to Your Imagination, the Seas, Life. And that's all I know. Going with the Figment Kitchen and Epcot themed kitchen, I did get some of the food and wine koozies, which I didn't know were a thing until once I was there. 
and I got my share of koozies. We got the Ratatouille one, and it has Remy on it. He looks so cute on it. Then I also got the Mickey Mouse one of him with like a salt and pepper shaker. Then I also got two Figment ones because he looks adorable. I love how he looks in this type of design. I got two of them because it they'll go well with the kitchen. Like I don't even have to use them as koozies. You can just kind of like set them on against the counter or something. I don't know. Or you can put like vinegar in this. Where did vinegar come from? I don't know. But yeah. I'm going insane. I have so much stuff. This is also like this stuff that I'm showing you right now is also probably the same. Not ex maybe not exactly the same, but similar stuff that you will find at like a character warehouse store as well. I should clarify that too. So if you do see something you like, maybe try going to a character warehouse store and they might have these same things. I also got a pair of the new Minnie Mouse ears. I say new because they are still pretty new and I'm surprised they were there, but it's the ears that you could change the bow with and the bows also can be worn as just normal hair bows too and I used to wear hair bows a lot I don't anymore but now that I have these I'm gonna buy more of them so they have the little bow on it and then they change and I bought one of the bows to change it with and I got the Han Mansion one obviously my sister has the Tiki Room one so I'm gonna steal that one from her too but it has Leota on it and it has like the little Haunted Mansion wallpaper. That's everything I got from Cast Connections. Now it's gonna be the stuff that my sister got for me and I will also clarify things that I paid for as well, just in case you wanted to know. So some stuff she did surprise me for over Christmas, like a lot of those t-shirts that I showed you. So some things I also paid her back for right away. So I will clarify what was what, but I'll show you the bigger things first because I'm very excited for these. You saw it in my haul from September, and I might have talked about it in March, but I've always wanted one of those stupid little banshees that you put on your shoulder. And I don't know why, because I know if I buy one, I'm gonna just be like, why did I buy this? So, and they're super expensive too. They're like 70 bucks. So I'm like, I don't need one. But my sister went to Cast Connections one day, and they had a ton of them for like 30 bucks. And so she got me one. And his name is Brer Banshee. Here he is. Bear Banshee, there he is. We're gonna prop him up on my shoulder and we'll see how long he can stay until he gets annoying because I feel like my shoulders are not made for these Banshee things. Like either I'm holding them wrong or something, but this is Bear Banshee. He just loves living his life. Um, he is very, very happy all the time. We hung out one Saturday night on my trip and I got some a Mickey Premium Bar and I gave some to him. I'll insert that right now. We're we're BFFs, right? Aren't we? Aren't we? Oh, he's shaking his head no. No, we're BFFs. Blink once if you're happy to be with me. He's not gonna blink because he's fake, but <laughs> we we have lots of fun together. We we like to look that way, we look that way, we look that way, and he he's just my banshee. This is so I'm sorry, but like I love this thing and he's he's just my BFF and so we're just gonna, he's just gonna stay until he gets annoyed. So the next thing that I got is something that I knew about that I was getting. Um, it came out right before we came for Halloween. So I knew about this for a while. It's just so big that I could not bring it back on a plane. I had to take it home via car because it's so huge. And it's also because the packaging is so big and I don't wanna get rid of the packaging because you will see why. If you didn't know, they released a ton of Haunted Mansion stuff um, beginning of like September or something. And so um, one of that stuff was a lot of new plush and I have not seen this guy around since I've gotten him. And it is Patty and his little bat friend. And he is ginormous. Like I hope this does it justice for how big this thing is. Like this is me, this is this box. This thing is huge, banshee size. This thing is huge. And so this guy, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I mean like, Obviously, I'm like, he's going in my room, but like, I don't know if I want to take him out and keep, like, look at this packaging. And then the back, it has Madame Leota. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't know if I should keep him in. Like, you guys, please tell me what I should do with this. Because I love him and I have the Hitchhiking Ghost plush and they're, they never came in fancy packaging, but they look just like him. So I don't know if he should hang out with them or if he should hang out in his own little place in here and be kind of chill. He, I love him. 
and I love this packaging. Like either way, I'm keeping the packaging, but I don't know if I should keep him in the packaging. And it's not like one of those things where it's gonna be like, I'm gonna sell him later and keep him in the packaging. No, he's my baby. I love Hattie. And so he is just chilling. And so we don't know what we're gonna do with him. He's going to my room obviously, but I don't know what the plan is gonna be for him, but he is super, super cute. And he, he's my Hattie. And I love him. The reflection's being weird, but I love my Hattie. We'll do Funko Pops next. And all the Funko Pops were ones that I sent my sister money for so she can get them for me. I knew I was getting all of these. So the first one that I got is the Orange Bird. It is the Diamond Edition Orange Bird because I did not get the normal Orange Bird when they sold him. So luckily they had this guy. She got him like, all of these she got way after they were released too. So they must have restocked them or they were ones that they just still had in stock. I don't know. We have the Diamond Orange Bird. I got him. He's super cute. He's going to go right by my Figment one because I have a Figment one too. I don't know if you guys, well obviously I would have a Figment one. I mean like it's me. Um, and then we also got um, Redhead from Pirates. Now this one's a funny story because um, I found out like probably like 10 or 12 days after they released the Redhead one. I was like, man, I really want her, but I don't want to make my sister go out of her way to get her for me. So she was still in stock like a couple of days later. There were only like four left in stock at Pin Traders at Disney Springs. So my sister went and got her for me. And then she went to Cast Connections later that day. And there were a ton of them there because they had damaged boxes. So her box, if you can kind of see, is a little damaged. And I am very, very picky about keeping them in their boxes. I do not take them out of their boxes. But, <laughs> sorry, I'm very serious there but I don't take them out of their boxes because I just I just don't want to like I, I really like the boxes that they come in so I made sure that the box she got was one that wasn't too bad like if I because they mine are stacked like this so you can't tell that the box is damaged because you can't see the top of it so she looked pretty good so she, my sister returned the other one and we just got this one for like five bucks so there is that one redhead we love her um, and then the last one that I got is another ginormous package and I am going to try and fix that up. Um, we also got the Splash Mountain one. And this one is huge. It's gigantic. I also got the Ezra and the Doom Buggy one as well. That one I had a personal shopper. My friend had a personal shopper get one for me. Because I needed that one in my life too. But we got this one. And if the reflection doesn't like to hate me. Um, it has Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Bear on it. And it's super duper cute. And Disney needs to stop making these because I keep buying these stupid Funko Pops. I already have enough and these guys are so cute. So we got the Splash Mountain one. Um, that's it for Funko Pops. I'm going to throw that over there. Please don't fall. Okay, we're good. Now this is just stuff my sister got for me. Um, this was a gift that I did not know I was getting. And I saw them, I saw that they redesigned this plush and I was like, Katie, I need that, and it's Br'er Rabbit. And if you don't know, I love bunnies, and not just any bunnies, I love Disney bunnies, and I love Officer Hops, Thumper, Br'er Rabbit, any type of Disney bunny, White Rabbit, you know, I just love all the Disney bunnies, and so anything with a Disney bunny on it, I needed. So we had to get this little Br'er Rabbit, and he's so cute. <laughs> I just love him so much and I just can't. And Br'er Banshee is also named after Splash Mountain characters. So he is Br'er Banshee. We have Br'er Rabbit. It's just out. It's just fantastic. And he is adorable and we love him. And so I just threw him in <laughs> Br'er Rabbit. Um, another thing that my sister surprised me with is this Haunted Mansion. This is not Haunted Mansion. This is Nightmare for Christmas. Oh my gosh. This Nightmare for Christmas bag. It is one of the 25 year anniversary bags. I saw it when I was down there for Halloween and I was like, ooh, that's a nice bag, but it was too expensive. This was at Character Warehouse, so she got one for me. Um, it has Jack on it. He looks super spoopy. I'm very happy because Sally isn't on it and I don't like Sally, so that's a good thing. Um, but we have that and we, I love this. It's so cool. She found this one at Mickey's Treasures and it was super duper cheap and she was very, very excited to give it to me and I can see why because I wanted this so bad, but I didn't want to pay full price for it. It's on a Mansion Fanny Pack! And I, I love me a good fanny pack. Like you have no idea. This thing, these things are lifesavers. So um, I used this when we went to Disney Springs one time and 
I I love it. I have the Epcot anniversary backpack that has Sigmund all over it. It's like purple and brown and stuff. And so that's been like my, my go-to Disney bag for like all of my trips lately. So she found this at Character Warehouse, I think, and it matches my bag perfectly. It is this 35th anniversary wallet and it has Sigmund on it. This is actually the wallet that I used for my entire trip when we went in December, so I've used all my stuff in there. Kind of going along with that, I also got some pins from my sister. It's this Epcot one for Epcot's 35th anniversary. It has a little figment on it. And then I also got this little Food and Wine one as well from 2017. I didn't go in 2017, but he looks cute on it, so that's okay. And then I also got this mystery pin pack and we're gonna open it right now it has the mystery pins that i collect so maybe we'll get a journey into your imagination one and that would be a dream come true and just that spark in me and you but yeah it has all the little epcot symbols on it we're gonna do like an unboxing right now and see which pins we get if i could open it maybe okay let's see what the first one is come on journey 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 what is it i don't know which one this is if you know, write it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll Google it. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have one more. Journey. Jur These are huge, too, by the way. Journey. 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 It's not. It's the land, I think. That, or not the land. This has to be um the living seas, right? It doesn't say. I still love these. Like, I am vintage Epcot trash. So, these are perfect for me. I... I I don't care if it's Epcot. I don't care. This is like um a little pop up or ornament that you pop up and make. Words are very hard today. This is a figment ornament, and you get this when you complete the little Chippendale wreath thing. She has the scavenger hunt right here. She never finished it. She just cashed it in right away and got the thing for me. So um it's the little Chippendale wreath little scavenger hunt, and then one of the prizes is this ornament. So you pop it up. I haven't done it because I don't want to. Oh, was it an M? Oh, you get a couple of them in here, I think. I don't know, but it pops up into an ornament and it's figment in front of Spaceship Earth. And I'm like, how perfect is that? I needed it. And so she got me that. <laughs> and then kind of going along with that, one of the prizes for the Ratatouille hide and squeak from Food of Mine was this figment cup. And it's like one of those like weird 3D looking ones. And so I had to get that. He looks so cute on it. Banshee, don't you agree? He's not talking right now, but. I'm figment trash. <laughs> Going along with the little pouches that I got with my Haunted Mansion stuff, I sent Katie to go and get me this one that says Tomb Sweet Tomb on it. Tomb Sweet Tomb on it. Words. Um, but yeah, so I got that one. Um, she found it at World of Disney, I think, or Memento Mori, I forget where, but it has little Leota on the tag. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these, but I needed them. So, I'm just going to keep them in my purse for now and find use for them eventually. These are a whole new set of planners that they released. So, I got one. It says, my way too excited, go to a Disney park vacation planner. And it has cute little things on it, and it's very, very cute. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I needed it. And so we got that. Um, and then she also got me this little cute little plaque thing. And this is I want candy. And it will go great in my haunted mansion room because it's Halloween and it's spoopy. And it has Mickey on it, and he's a little vampire. And it's super cute. See, I this isn't even all of it. Like, I still have so much more to show you guys. I'm so sorry. But I have so much stuff. Um, and then I also got from my sister to go in my kitchen. It is this little banner. And it, helped, it also came with a button as well. There it is. Um, it's this Epcot 35th anniversary banner. And it's so retro looking. And I love it. And it's so cute. This is like the type of stuff that they sold in like the 90s. And I'm very excited. This is going to go in my figment kitchen. We stand. There's a theme this trip. Can you tell? Retro Epcot. Um, we got, these were at Cast Connections too. And it is one of the Starbucks cups. And it is the limited edition Epcot 35th Starbucks cup to go with my retro Epcot Figment kitchen. I can't see where I'm putting the box. 
there we go. And then the last thing that she got me, um, I can tell it's been through some damage, but <laughs> it's really cute and I wanted one anyways. And it is the partner statue. Mickey's missing an ear and Walt's missing his hand. This was from Mickey's Treasures, if you can't tell, but we could pretend. I can make an ear for Mickey or something. I can use clay and make an ear for Mickey, but I had to get that because I'm not gonna cry, but I love Walt Disney a lot. And I need to thank him for a lot of these things. If it wasn't for him, I would not have this banshee on my shoulder. So thanks Walt Disney. <laughs> That's, that was not a good example. <laughs> but yeah, we have this little guy. And so um, that is everything that my sister got for me. Now the rest of it is stuff that I bought myself when I was down there and things that I was not planning on buying everything I was not planning on buying, but these were things I was not planning on buying, but I got anyways. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> so I did not go too pin heavy this trip. I only got like three or four pins. And so I will show you those. We have this redhead one from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> I just, I just like the redhead. I don't know. This one I had to get. It's a dinosaur one and it says, it's fast. It's a blast from the past. Oh, it's fast. It's a blast. It's in the past. And it's Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Pluto on Dinosaur with a Carnotaurus chasing after them. So I had to get that one because I love Dinosaur. And I am 100% going as Dr. Seeker next year from Not So Scary Halloween Party. Just saying. Then I also got this one. It has Mickey Mouse on it. And it says, who's the leader of the club? And he looks so cute on it. And I had to get it. And so I got that pin. That's all for the pins, really. Another little tiny thing that I got was from the Japan Pavilion in Epcot. If you don't know, I don't really talk about this often, but I am obsessed with Shiba Inus, the dog breed Shiba Inu, the ones with like the meme doge where the dog's like that one. I'm obsessed with those dogs. And so they had in the Japan store, which is my favorite pavilion in Epcot, well, besides Future World in general, I love the Japan Pavilion. Um, they had this little Shiba Inu and he has like a little scarf on and I had to get him. And he's cute. He's just gonna go on my desk. And he's just gonna look adorable until I get a real one. So, little Shiba Inu. Our first night after we checked in, we went to Disney Springs for a little bit and I'm like, I kinda wanna treat myself a little bit, like a tiny bit. So I got myself from Basin. I used one already and my sister used the other one, but I got a little bath bomb and it has the Mickey confetti in it. You can't tell because they're all in there, but it has like a little Mickey Mouse upside down little Mickey Mouse on the outside and when you put it in the bathtub it has like little Mickey confettis all around you and then I also got from Memento Mori it is this little haunted mansion it's like a diorama it's like a little puzzle so you like clip these all together and it looks like a little 3d version of the haunted mansion with like little hitchhiking ghosts on there and it has bones on it and everything oh Hattie's on it too <gasps> I didn't even notice that oh god so yeah I got that um, just a fun little thing for me to do later. These I saw, um, I saw like other accounts post about these like as new releases that were shown at the Disney parks. And so your girl had to snatch one of these. And so I have like an office job. So like anything I can have with like a touch of Disney makes life 10 times better. So I got these pens and they all have like little attraction references on them. These just have like quotes from the actual ride. So got Dead Men Tell No Tales, um, Here We Go, Peter Pan, uh, Welcome Foolish Mortals, Tiki Room, Wildest Ride in the Wilderness, and It's a Small World After All. Then these are just kind of like funny little like advertisements for attractions. So we have Big Thunder Mountain, kind. oh wait, Big Thunder Mining Company. Hold on to your hats and glasses. We're about to strike the mother load. The Tiki 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 Luau and Buffet. Um, the Madame Leota one has a typo on it. It says psychic medium, but psychic is spelled P-H-Y-S-I-C. So psychic medium, psychic Fy medium, Disney, you made a typo. Um, but yeah, we have that. There's a people mover one. I didn't even notice that until now and I'm gonna cry. But yeah, so I got these to use at my office, just like, tiny little pixie dust of Disney in my office, which I always love. This is something that I sent my sister out to get for me when I was back home and she was in Disney. So I was like, hey, I, as soon as this was released, I'm like, hey, you need to go to Epcot and you need to get this for me. I'm like, I don't care. You're going to Epcot. You were getting this for me. I need it in my life. And it is the new Starbucks cup that has 
all of the little figment references on it. Like, Mickey is the dream finder. First of all, Mickey is the dream finder. Do I have to say more? Like, that's already enough for me. But it has, like, little figment on it. It has, like, all the little hidden references. We have little horizons on it. We have a little bit of Turtle Talk with Crush. We have a little bit of Celebrate the Future. We have the monorail on it. Spaceship Earth. Soarin'. You know, we have Test Track on it. We have the land. Um, there's a Mickey bar on it. Why? I don't know. And then, like, the, the World Showcase Pavilion and everything. But, like, Mickey as Dream Finder, that was enough. And I was like, oh, my God. I, I needed it. I needed it. So, this one I had set for me. This was waiting for me when I checked in. I'm like, Katie, I want this thing so bad. I needed this in my life. Um, so I got that. I was like, this is an obvious, like, yes, please, I need it. So then we went to Hollywood Studios. And, you know... I did work at Hollywood Studios on my college program, and I, that was probably one of my favorite places to work, like, I love Typhoon Lagoon so much, but type, like, Hollywood Studios just had that, like, home feeling park to me. That was, like, my home park. I felt at home at that park. That was the park I worked the most at. I worked at Animal Kingdom, I worked at Typhoon Lagoon, those were, like, my three main places of work, but Hollywood Studios was, like, my home park. That park felt, like, the most homey to me, so I had to get something to, like, commemorate that because I, I don't know, I, I just have, like, a greater respect for Hollywood Studios now that I've worked there, and so... Because of that, I treated myself to the Hollywood Studios cup. And I and Fantasmic is tied with Folk as my favorite show, so I had to get that. But also Sneaky Dog Dash is on here. Tower Terror. This like I I don't know, like Use the Force, I Star Wars, uh Sorcerer Mickey's on it. I I don't know, Rock and Roller Coaster's on it. I I just really, really liked it. And I I really like like I love this mug and i i was very excited and they also wrapped it in this one so i have a spare disney parks starbucks cup to just hang around at home i had to get that i was like man i had to get that that like that was that one in the f one i was like oh my gosh i need those two because those that's my home park and that's my favorite park and it had mickey as the dream finder on it so then i went to animal kingdom <laughs> and we went to starbucks at animal kingdom <laughs> And I'm like, man, that cup is so cute. I should buy it. And so I got the Animal Kingdom one because there's a Carnotaurus on it and I love dinosaur. But then it has like Safari Mickey on it and it has like the Yeti. It has the Kali River Rapids. It has a Tree of Life. It has the, the Kilimanjaro Safaris. We did the Africa Trek like two years ago. We went in August. And so, yeah, I can't believe it's two years ago now, basically. Two years this August. So like 2019 August, it'll be two years. But I was like, that kind of remembers that a little bit for me. So because my family and I had a fun time on that trip. So that kind of remembered that for me. But basically the Carnotaurus. I wanted it for the Carnotaurus. But then we went to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> and you can kind of see where this is going. We went to Magic Kingdom. And I got the cup there. I'm just going to say I got the cup. Because so I'm just like, I got three out of four. I might as well just get the last one. So I got the Magic Kingdom one. And it has Orange Bird on it. And it has some dew buggies on it. I was like, heck yeah. So we have Mickey and he's dressed all cute. Um, Space Mountain's on it. Pirate's Light for Me's on it. Is uh, Splash Mountain on it? Not really. Um, or I'm just completely missing it. Small World's on it. The ghosties, I love the ghosties. The F that one was planned because I bought that ahead of time and I knew I wanted that one right away. The studios one was like my second, like I might get that one, I might not, we'll see. So all the other ones were just like, I already got two, I might as well just get them all, so. <laughs> I promise I'm not making this a tradition, but the very last thing that I bought was another Dooney. Now this one is very special because it has Mickey and Minnie on it and they're going on all the rides. Now, the Doom Buggy one, obviously, I had to get the placement on this one because I was them on a Doom Buggy, and it's on there twice. So I'm like, heck yeah. The castle has perfect placement. And then they're on Dumbo, and I had to get the Dumbo. Like, you can't, you can only just see Dumbo. You can't see them on Dumbo, but I don't really care. But I run on one that had Dumbo on it because uh, my grandpa and I always used to go on Dumbo, so I wanted Dumbo to be on there. Um, Small World's on the back, like... I promise I'm not making this a tradition. They just happen to release cute doonies whenever I'm down there. So I had to get it. And thank you Ever After Store for ruining my bank account. But that's it. That's the last thing I got. And 
that is everything I got from Disney World. Oh, there's stuff on the bottom too. So I hope you enjoyed this monster haul. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought. So I hope I could cut this down enough where it's like a reasonable amount of watch time. So Bird Banshee and I are going to say goodbye. He's waving. Um, We're going to put all this stuff away and unpack it all. So please pray for me. I also just want to say, if you guys have any video ideas that you want me to make or anything at all, please let me know. Um, I kind of, while I was unpacking, had the idea of doing a what's in my bag for a day at Disney because I'm like, this kind of is kind of unique stuff that I bring to the parks. So I figured that might be a fun little video idea. So if you want to see that, let me know. Um, any other video ideas, please let me know. Um, once my room is at a decent looking appearance, uh, I might do a room tour because since the last one that I filmed in like 2016, I've definitely upgraded it a lot and it looks a lot better. So there is that. Um, and again, anything at all you want me to film about, I could talk about the college program, any questions about that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be about it. We hope you have a great week in a magical day and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.